Today, I want to share my self-love journey and some of the things that have helped me to reach that place of peace and love. It's been a long journey, to say the least. Along the way, I've learned how to accept my past and how to extend kindness, grace and forgiveness to all versions of myself. This doesn't mean I have self-love all figured out. There's still days when I fail myself and on those days, I forgive myself and I try again and again. One of the habits I consistently nurture is emotional and spiritual well-being. I didn't know so much of the physical ailments my body was experiencing was as a result of emotional pain until I started working on my emotional well-being. This took a lot of work, it still does, but the healing process opened a way for me to access my spiritual being with ease and to experience the abundance that life has to offer, to be present and to live each moment fully, appreciating life just a little bit more. Positive self-talk was a big shift for me. When I changed the way I thought about myself, a lot started to shift. I felt more at peace with myself. I think most of us already know that what we tell ourselves affects how we see the world around us. When we start feeding our mind with positive thoughts, the world around us changes for the better. Self-compassion is another important self-love habit. So be kind, gentle, and patient with yourself. This made a massive impact on my emotional well-being. Practicing self-compassion allows me to go through life with less self-judgment. Our bodies are a sanctuary that is meant to carry us day by day throughout our lifetime. So if you haven't already, start nurturing and loving your physical body through all the changes. Take the time to celebrate and take care of your body. This can be in small ways, like not wearing heels because they make your feet hurt, or drinking an extra glass of water because it will do good to your skin. We're doing a 10-minute workout. When you find what works for you, make it a habit. If you're consistent, you'll start experiencing a deeper sense of self-appreciation and accept yourself regardless of all the imperfections. Forgiveness is a big one. It's easier said than done. I know some things can be incredibly painful, but sometimes we may not even know how to forgive. But I also know this is such a big part to finding peace with the past. I'd say, seek the help of a professional if you're really struggling with this. Remember to forgive yourself as well, because it's a given. At some point in our lives, we make mistakes. Some big, some small. Be patient with yourself, because forgiveness is a process. Lastly, surround yourself with positive and supportive people. People who will uplift you and encourage your growth. This changed a lot. When I started surrounding myself with people who showed me love, and were genuinely caring and supportive. I hope you found these habits useful. Like always, thanks for watching, and I wish you well with your self-love journey.